The most common type of capacitor is probably a cylindrical capacitor. And that's obtained by having two concentric cylinders. So in here I have a cylinder and a cylindrical shell of length L. Remember to find the electrical field. The electrical field again is going to have a cylindrical symmetry. And to find the radial electrical field, we will not have an electrical field along the length because the electrical field from one portion here is going to cancel the electrical field of another portion here. So we have electrical fields only radially for a sufficiently long cylinder. So we have electrical fields only radially and we can use a Gaussian surface that's cylindrical. So here is the dashed line from the Gaussian surface of radius R. The flux through that Gaussian surface is the charge inside of epsilon zero. And the area is going to be the area of the sphere. Since the electrical field is constant throughout the area, that's going to be just E times the area. And the area of a cylindrical uh, of a cylinder is actually 2 pi r the circumference times the height. So 2 pi r times f is equal to q over epsilon zero. So this is the expression for my electrical field. 2 k q over r f radially outwards. To calculate the potential difference, remember it's the energy per unit charge to move a charge from the inner cylinder here to the outer cylinder, we integrate over E dr from R1 to R2, E being this expression. Okay. R dot dr is going to be just dr. Everything, okay, and let me highlight, All of these, actually, let me highlight them here. All of these are constant. So we are left with just what's inside the integration is going to be just dr over r from r1 to r2. And that's going to be, that part is going to be natural log of R from R1 to R2. So that's going to be natural log of R2 minus log, natural log of R1. And that's going to be, okay, let me write it down, natural log of R2 minus natural log of R1. And that's going to be the natural log of R2 over R1. And that's what we have here. So that's being the potential difference delta V. The capacitance is Q over delta V. So we just divide Q by this expression, and the charge is going to cancel, and we obtain this. Note that in all the capacitance expressions that we found, capacitance depends only on the geometry. It does not depend on the charge. It does not depend on the voltage. It depends only on the geometry. So for example here, we have R2 and R1. That's all. And L. That's all what we have. If you recall, this is R1 over Ke. Depends only on R1. For concentric spheres, it depends on R1 and R2. 
And for parallel plates, it depends on the area of the plates and the separation of the plates.